Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. We have a really special day today because we have finally taken delivery on our new FT Widgeons. On top of that, it's also beautiful weather. We're going to be outfitting these things with some HD FPV and then having a water adventure like never before. So this here is our new FT Widgeon here and we're really excited. This is our first ground up PNP airplane of this size and we put a lot of heart into this. Not only is this an iconic airplane from the 1940s, but it's also just an awesome airplane to bring into reality for a model because it's twin engine, there's no torque issues, has lots of cavity space you can take off the ground take off the water take off the snow even belly land and high grass we really wanted to bring something to the community that would be versatile be easy to use and also really easy to access on top of that we wanted an experience for people to be able to grow with it so today's project here we're gonna be flying some FPV so Andrews is gonna be working on a pod that you guys are gonna be able to download for free and print out that's gonna give you an awesome FPV experience from the nose but also let air through and keep water out okay now why Josh and Andrews are out there working on the I wanted to take this time to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video and that is Raycon. If you guys aren't familiar with Raycon, Raycons are not only just amazing wireless earbuds, but Raycons are really special because they come in at about half the price of most earbuds on the market. Cool thing about it is they sound just as good, if not better than most other earbuds on the market. They have really good bass, just all around really good sound quality. Now, if you guys are like me, I listen to a ton of podcasts when I'm out walking, but whether you're into exercising or using them for work to talk on the phone raycons are going to be able to pair with any phone and you're going to be able to do whatever you like to do most with them so this is their latest model the everyday e25s this is their best yet it's super compact um, you get six hours of charge on one battery which is pretty amazing it has unparalleled bass and sound quality it works really really well beyond that it also gives you a seamless bluetooth connection experience it just kind of works it's really really nice and also it has a nice noise isolating fit which actually blocks out a lot more sound than you'd expect now, if you guys haven't ever had wireless earbuds, they're pretty much a game changer. Most people think that just dealing with that wire on normal headphones is just par for the course. That's part of the deal, but it's not anymore. And when you finally graduate to wireless earbuds, it'll make sense why you see everybody walking around with them is because it's extremely convenient and extremely versatile. So here's the best thing about all of this is you can actually use our link. It's down in the description. It's also right here on the screen. By using our link, you can actually get 15% off of your order with Raycon. And again, we cannot think thank Raycon enough for sponsoring this video, but would not be possible without Raycon and you guys watching. So thank you so much. And let's get back and see how these widgets are coming. So we're trying to put FPV gear on the widget. And the issue is uh, the FPV gear we're using is an HD system and it's pretty expensive. And even with normal FPV equipment, you don't want to get any water on it or else you might damage the VTX, you might fry the camera, that kind of stuff. Uh, so the goal is to design an FPV pod for the widget that can enable us to fly off the water and not be too afraid of any splashes getting on on our FPV equipment. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the original STL of the hatch for the widget. I'm gonna put that into Fusion and then just pull some basic dimensions off of it. And I'm also gonna pull some dimensions off of the uh, physical foam hatch from real life. And then what I'm gonna do is just extrude those shapes and basically build what I'm thinking of in Fusion in the software. And then eventually I'll have a design that looks kind of like what I want it to look like. And the goal here is to make a hatch that looks pretty good, like it should belong on a widget, but also have enough room inside hold all of our gear. Now for the first prototype of the design, I actually printed it out at home on my printer. So we have to figure out how to dissipate the heat and have venting holes without letting water in. Um, so what we've done is we made these little vent holes here and they actually travel up in an S pattern. So they go in like this and then back up. Inside here, you can see the inlet holes for airflow to the VTX. And then back here, uh, Josh came up with this. It's a little uh, exit hole that actually pulls the air out. So much like a wing works, as the uh, airflow goes faster over the top, it'll create an area of low pressure back here and basically suck that air out um, and hopefully suck the hot air out from the VTX. So hopefully air can get in, but water can't. So we can keep the VTX cool while not frying our FPV. It looks cool too. I mean, on the widget, it yeah, looks dude. like looks like a little gun turret. Yeah, it looks like a cannon should be coming out of the front end of that. <laughs> yeah. So we took what we learned from version one and we had a pod that was ready to fly. Now it held up to a couple of test flights just fine. We had air going over the VTX and it stayed cool enough to record the whole time. It stayed on, it stayed recording and we thought we were good to go. So we took it out to the lake and set up for our shoot, but we end up finding out pretty quickly that it just wasn't enough. Um, the issue was while the widget is in the air 
and flying and getting that airspeed, that airflow over the VTX, it's okay. It's cool enough that the VTX can still operate. If you leave it on the ground for too long, stationary with no airflow, the FPV gear just bakes inside of that pod. So long story short, we found out that the FPV gear was just overheating too much and it wasn't functioning properly. So we headed back to the shop late at night. We actually used some tiny whoop fans and motors and put them on the bottom to force airflow over the VTX, whether it's on the ground or in the air. I actually brought the pods home, did a bit of testing, made sure that they were able to record with the fan running for 15 minutes straight with no overheating issues and it worked fine. So there's just one thing left to do. Let's take it out to the lake and uh, try it again. Hopefully it works. All right guys, it's a beautiful day out and we're heading to the lake. But before we do so, I wanted to take this time to ask you guys to consider subscribing. We're doing all kinds of fun RC flying videos like this and project videos all of the time and it would not be possible with all of our awesome subscribers. So to our subscribers out there, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It is free, just hit the little button and it helps us out a ton. So let's load up these widgets and head to the lake. You ready, Anders? Ready, dude. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I didn't take for account like how crazy it's gonna be rocking on the dock while flying an airplane. Yeah. If it gets too rocky, we can step off. Oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> I see you, bud. I see you too, man. You ready oh, to do awesome. this? I'm ready. I'll follow you on takeoff. All right, here we go. Taking off. All right. I'm up. <laughs> Oh, this is that awesome, reflection. Man. Wow, wow. It is so smooth. Dude, the, the lake is just glassy. Oh my goodness. So we have a 33 or 34 acre lake to explore here. Flying over the water is scary, but so mesmerizing. It, it is kind of scary, yeah. I feel like I'm looking at a mirror right now. And then rocking on the dock, just a little shake is pretty crazy. <laughs> Are you formed up with me? I'm formed up, man. I'm a little bit uh, farther behind you, but I'll form up with you All a little right. closer here. Oh my gosh, what an immersive experience. So earlier on, I was talking about how I really wanted the Widgeon to be basically the, the replacement for the Twin Star, where you had scale beauty, but you also had uh, functionality. This is the first time flying FPV from the nose, and what a rewarding experience. Yeah, man. It's it's almost hard to tell how high up you are because of the, the mirror, <laughs> lake, yeah. yeah. I wish you could oh, see. Dude. I've never shivered so much in my life. This is just, <laughs> talk about a core workout. This looks awesome so, following you. That looked awesome. You got like a little close to the water there. Was, was that close sweet. to the water? Yeah. I can't tell. I could see it in your reflection, but that was the only way I could tell. I gotta look for like ripples and stuff. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Okay, Anders, you did a great job with this pod. <laughs> what we're gonna be doing Thanks, with this man. pod is perfecting it and then putting out a free STL on Thingiverse and also through our forums to uh, enable you guys to download this so you can have an awesome SPV experience as well too. Oh, I just saw Alex fly up between us. Holy cow. I wanna... Hey, Alex. All right, I'm gonna try a touch and go. All right, dude, I'll film you. Let's see the ripples. Woo! That was a awesome. bounce and go, wasn't it? Oh, it looked cool though. Oh, you just skimmed the water there. That was sweet. Oh, I'm a little ahead of you now. Okay, FPV is an amazing experience, but when you add water to the element and like basically this huge vast area to search yeah. and explore and land and paddle around on, you got like the best of every world. You add water, you add HD FPV. Yes. Yeah, the aura. Hopefully not water on the HD FPV. Yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's go around uh, Milton's Island here. Right. By the way, if you guys like this location here, Milton actually has a rental that you can rent for the week or weekend and be able to enjoy the lake, fly off the lake, rent a pontoon boat. This place is just a patch of heaven located about just maybe 25, 30 minutes from where Edgewater is. It's a beautiful little place, Yeah, man. Milton is awesome. Life are just great people. Touch look, somebody. You touch somebody? <laughs> must have been Anders. It must have been me, yeah. Look at the, look at the boat ramp. All right. Buzz the boat ramp there. Look at that boat ramp. Nice, dude. Yeah, mine was starting to get... Oh, I whoa. felt safe. Did you feel safe too? Uh, no, I saw you feel safe. That's why I was like, whoa. Okay. Let's uh, stay a little safer. Close. We were really kind of pushing the distance, but also there's like this tree -y, thick island yeah. between us, and they get greedy. And you were a little low there too, so I that's was. probably why. All right, well, hey dude, you're responsible. You fly with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Anders, you and I have the most success for just epic uh, FPV. Uh, uh, maybe maybe, maybe save that for after the shoot. 
<laughs> Don't want to jinx anything right now. Little patch of heaven. Hey, you guys want to go up high altitude? Sure. funny because when I fly the paramotor and I get this high I start getting like oh my gosh I'm so high but when yeah. I fly FPV something just disconnects but then you're also on the dock right, rock this, a little bit this is an amazing FPV platform Dude. I love this it's so stable yeah. and that differential thrust uh, stabilization that really helps out definitely Dude, the color scheme on the Wishing just pops too. Does it? Yeah. Makes it easy to follow? Easy to follow uh, when you're against the ground or the air. I love it. Hey, there's Alex. <laughs> you, just, sweet. you just never know there's this beautiful location right outside of Minerva. You can see so far too. I'm gonna turn to All the little trees. All right, I'm gonna do something. I'll turn to the right now. All right. I mean, I realize I've just been flying the whole flight. Do you ever fly a whole flight where you only turn one direction? <laughs> All right, I'm getting a little bit fail safe. So All right. Uh, so I've been flying at a much higher clip mainly because of the uh, the fact that I'm carrying a huge 360 camera on me. Basically, you can pretty much cut your flight time in half. At least that's a responsible thing to do. Oh! Oh! Oh, we're safe! You good? Well, kinda. Oh, I see you out there, I think. Am I in pieces? I just saw you for a second. No, I see you. You look like you're in one piece. All right, just you're more. Good. Boy, I tell you, you're flying towards the water and then suddenly you realize, oh my gosh, that's the water! <laughs> Oh, uh oh, oh, we're safe. You good? Well, kinda. Should I bump you? Are you out by me? Uh, I can go out by you. Here, I'll bump you FTV. Yeah, I'm just floating. All right, so basically I was coming down. I was a little nervous because I felt like I was losing power and I was coming down at a pretty good clip. But the problem, I have all this drag and you got to carry power, especially when you're coming in over the water. I saw the water so quickly, I pulled back before adding power and keeping my speed managed and I kind of just bounced pretty good. That looks beautiful. You try to push me? Yeah. Or, hey buddy. Hey dude. Uh oh, He's, I might've done something bad. Now we're just like stuck. Now we're just buddies. And Alex is just catching it all for prosperity. Oh, oh we're floating away, we're good. Uh, all we'll right, yeah, you may want to bail. All right, so basically the calm weather was my big friend here, but it's also my big enemy because we had this glassy smooth water that looks so beautiful to fly over. The only problem is there's absolutely no depth perception when it comes to landing. So I'm really amazed that this is one piece because I hit really, really hard into the water here. Now the good thing is my FPV gear kept working, which means Andrew's design is absolutely awesome. So I got my FPV feet, but I don't have any control signal. So something either came unplugged or got wet, but we got to find a boat, get out on the lake and rescue this. Oh yeah. So Nothing like a nice romantic uh, stroll, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we suddenly went from flight test to float test. Man, canoes are the bomb. This is way better than a kayak. It goes pretty fast, too. He's also in recovery. Oh boy, he's gutsy. We got the widgeon! We got the widgeon. Alright, it's beeping. How much water do I have in that bad boy? Ooh, I don't know, but it's heavy. You feel how heavy it is just from the weight of his uh, picking it up? It was like, Arr. you good? Yeah, I'm gonna unplug. Ooh, we got some water in the pod. Okay, got some little bit of water in the hull too. So normally, if you get your electronics wet or you crash in water, if you let it dry for enough time, it should be okay. Normally, they come back to life. So we're gonna bring this widget back to the shop, let it dry for a couple of days, and hopefully it'll work. Okay, so sorry to interrupt the magical boat ride, but it's Andrus and Alex here from the future. We just wanted to give you an update on the widget. Andrus, what's the deal with this thing here? It still works, man. Still works. Still works, FPV still works, we're all good. If you crash in the water, just make sure you get it out as fast as possible, unplug it, let it dry for a couple days. It's been a couple days and uh, everything works good. So let's get back to Josh and the canoe. So if you guys like this lake, 
unique in this location. Milton and his wonderful wife actually built a place where you can rent over the weekend or even for the week. Uh, I believe it's a two bedroom. Uh, we'll put a link down below. Uh, but this is an amazing place to fly. Also, he has pontoon boats and things you can rent. Just a really great getaway. So check them out. This is only about 30 minutes from uh, Edgewater. So if you're going to flight test or Edgewater, but you want to keep the whole family happy and go out in a lake and fly off of it, this would be the place to book. Friends, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. If you're watching this video now, the Widgeon is now available in the stores. We have two awesome videos on our Flight Test Tech channel. One is a built-in fly showing you how to build, tune, and fly your Widgeon. The other one's telling you all about it, wingspan, CG, you know, some really cool information that you'll want to check it out. Check that out in the link below. If you guys want to download the uh, 3D printer pod, that'll be on Thingiverse. We'll make sure to link that below. We hope you have fun with the plane. Go check it out, and we'll see you next time.